Hello, it's Ron back uh, today. This is a short video today. It's a follow-up on a video uh, I did uh, probably a couple weeks ago already. Uh, we got an, up, uh, you know, an update for the um, the DJI Fly app, uh, you know, and firmware updates that, that allowed uh, the batteries to uh, properly discharge down to a safe rate. Uh, you know, there was an issue uh, that was discovered a couple months ago where if you left the battery in the hub or the drone, it would not discharge properly. And this update supposedly fixed it. Now, I've been monitoring this. I left this, I, you know, I, I charged all three batteries up. I flew two and I left one in the uh, charging hub to see if it properly discharged. So um, I checked it, you know, about maybe about a week after I left it in the hub and it still didn't look like it was, you know, discharging much. So now it's been two weeks. It's been a little bit like... Two weeks in a day, at least, since I left this in the hub. So let's test this now to see if um, it has properly discharged. Okay, be right back. All right, folks, let's, uh, you know, uh, let's see what it says. Uh, let's turn this hub on here. It looks like it's got three uh, stars there instead of four, or three lights instead of four. So maybe that's a good sign. So uh, let's take it out here. I'm going to push this little butt right here pulls out he's always pull out a little tough so we're going to put it in our little uh this is the dji uh mini 2 we're going to put it in the mini 2 all right and we're going to uh, we've got the uh the old uh, smart controller now because it is compatible with the smart controller with that recent firmware update so let's turn our smart controller on all right you heard that little haptic feedback type of noise there Let's turn our drone on. These are short presses and long presses. And okay, we have our uh, very bright um, screen up here for the uh, DJI Smart Controller. Alrighty, let's see if it'll connect on its own here. We have to go into settings. We'll go in, hit this little button. See the little button? Uh, let's see, I'm trying to get this where you can see it. In the, let me turn this light off. Does that help? Okay, see this little button over here? So push that button. Trying to get the proper angle. And then, you know, that button and then go into, um, sorry, I can't get this focused in better. Well, you know, why is it, why all of a sudden is this so bright? Sorry, I'm going to cut part of this out. So, okay, I'm going to just describe it to you since you can't really see it here. Okay, we're going to go to the, um, we'll go into settings. And then uh, the, you go down to the third thing from the bottom, uh, top air, 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 yeah, aircraft management. And it already has the main tool in there, so it knows the main tool. Okay, so now that starts up the fly app automatically. I did not know that. So we'll wait for the uh, flap to boot up. There we go. Uh, it kind of always says this new version every time you uh, you do it up, even though I've done it before. So we'll say not now. Okay, so let's, uh, let's go into the fly app. And this thing always pops up too. I'm not sure what it is. I mean, it asks if we want to change the bound device. We do not want to. We do not want to un unbind the device. So we're going to hit cancel. And uh, okay, in the... The top, uh, you know, um, and I don't know why I can't film this. But the top right-hand corner where I have the battery meter, it says 68%. So, uh, voila, we finally got down to a safe uh, charging thing. Let me see if I can show you that. Uh, hold on, let me put this camera down here. Yep, yeah, it's just too bright for it. Anyhow. You have to take my word for it. It says sixty-eight percent in that uh, in that little green thing there. So again, this is too bright to even get it on camera, unfortunately. So 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 uh, it has discharged down to a proper um, things. So that is good news. Um, Yes, you know, very good news. Sorry, I'm thrown off off my game here for the fact that I cannot show this screen at all on this. Um, on the monitor, I did not do a uh, screen recording here, and at this point, it's kind of too late to do it. So, anyhow, that's just the good news is that um, 
the batteries already discharged, you probably have to wait a long time. It, it, it certainly didn't work in a week. I think I even looked at it about 10 days and it still wasn't properly discharged. So um, you have to wait, you know, uh, more than you would think to get them to, to go down to the proper charging. But uh, anyhow, I just wanted to, um, you know, check in uh, with that and uh, let you know that, uh, let me turn this camera up here. So that the, the video became, you know, super bright here. Um, I, I haven't done anything uh, outside of uh, trying to focus on the smart controller screen. But um, anyhow, you know, we've thoroughly tested that, uh, that the batteries do discharge now. Uh, if you leave them in the cradle and you know same thing if you leave them in the drone so um, if you haven't you know updated to the new uh, firmware and app update for the DJI uh, um, fly app and and the two drones it works with the actually the three drones the mini one the mini two and the um, actually four drones and the air 2 and the air 2s so uh, you know which I never had the battery charging issue only the uh, Mini 2 had the battery charging issue. The the batteries for the um, Zeta 1 were different. So, I mean, the Zeta 1, the Mini 1 were different. So, uh, they don't, you know, they don't even come into the equation here. They don't need to be updated or anything. So, um, that's it. You know, it's a short video. Uh, you know, I want to wish everybody, it's, uh, you know, if you're watching this video down the road, it won't mean anything, but this is holiday weekend. Fourth uh, of July is uh, tomorrow. So, um, you know, enjoy the holiday, and uh, we will see you in the next video.